metal Welcome back to our videos. In this episode, we will continue to explore DIY bicycle rear hub motors. In case you didn't watch my last episode, let me do a review. We introduced the performance of the Varstrom 48 volt 1000 watts. In this episode, we compare it with the Bafang 48 volt 750 watt. Let's see what sparks will be produced. It is suitable for the same UART protocol instrument and 48 volt battery as the Varstrom 48 volt 1000 watt. Let's take a look at its data. 750 watts power, 48 volt rated voltage, 80 newtons per meter torque, and a maximum speed of 32 to 45 kilometers per hour. This motor weighs 5.6 kilograms, is a brushless geared hub motor, and the body will be thicker. It has also passed IPX5 ROHS slash CE testing and certification. Now, let's unbox both of them and clarify their differences and explain their advantages and disadvantages. Here are three points to answer. The first is, what are the factors that affect the installation of hub motors on the frame? The second is, what are the advantages of brushless motors compared to brushed motors? The third is, what is the difference between geared and gearless? First of all, the factors that affect the installation of the rear wheel hub are mainly wheel size, width of the rear fork of the frame, and whether the frame style is a barrel axle or quick release. Secondly, 80% of the hub motors on the market are brushless. Brushless motors have no brushes and commutators, no contact resistance and friction loss, and the efficiency of converting electrical energy into mechanical energy is high, generally between 85% and 95%. This means that with the same electrical energy input, brushless motors can output more mechanical energy. Moreover, because the electric carbon brushes will wear out, the life of brushless hub motors will be longer than that of brushed hub motors. During the operation of brushless motors, there is no friction and electric sparks between brushes and commutators. So the noise is very low. Finally, the advantages of geared hub motors are large torque when starting and climbing. The speed and torque can be adjusted by gear ratio the efficiency may be higher under high torque output conditions. Disadvantages are high manufacturing and maintenance costs. Many mechanical parts, fast wear, and high maintenance workload. Low efficiency at medium and high speeds without high torque. Gear transmission is noisy. The advantages of gearless hub motors are simple structure, few parts, and low cost. Medium and high-speed driving may be more efficient. Low noise, smooth power transmission. Simple maintenance, mainly checking the motor itself and small maintenance workload. Disadvantages are limited torque, relatively small torque when starting and climbing. Relatively fixed relationship between speed and torque and cannot be flexibly adjusted. Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. Okay, let's have a little chat chat. Varstrom hub motor, 1000 watt power, 48 volt battery, can reach the top speed directly and efficiently. So its top speed can reach 55 kilometers per hour or even higher. The brushless and gearless design makes it the lowest noise, simple structure, low cost, and simple maintenance. Every coin has two sides. Because the gearless design makes its torque lower than the gear motor, the torque of the Varstrom 48 volt 1000 watt hub motor is only 66 Newton meters. This means that it requires more force when starting and climbing. Okay, let me test the climb and show you the performance.
the truth is, with the 1000 watt power output, I don't have any effort to pedal uphill. It's also easy to use the throttle to climb uphill. Next is the acceleration performance. I set the EKD01 to three gears to see how much the idle speed is in each gear. Even at this speed, the motor doesn't make much noise. Let's go. The biggest feature of the Bafang 48 volt, 750 watt hub motor is its high torque, but the gears wear out quickly. So we can draw the conclusion. Varstrom, 48 volts. 1,000 watts is about 80 euros cheaper than Bafang 48 volts, 750 watts motor. And the noise generated by the motor is small. Although the torque is only 66 Newton meters, it still has good climbing ability. If you pursue cost effectiveness, Varstrom 48 volts, 1000 watts must be your first choice. If you have higher requirements for riding and pedaling feel, you can also spend a little more money to buy the Bafang 48 volt, 750 watt rear hub motor. Both motors are available on Varstrom. Enter the discount code BANKO to get an additional 30 euro discount. This video recommends a product that has received a lot of feedback from customers recently. I sincerely recommend it to everyone. Christmas is coming soon, and it is also a great Christmas gift for yourself or your family. Let's end it. I hope to get your likes and subscriptions. This is very important to us. If you have good ideas and suggestions, please leave a message, and we will produce more interesting videos. I will update the complete unboxing video and installation video one after another. See you next time.